channel today we are going to be working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas and the colors I have uh, six colors here including my white <clears throat> sorry let me do that math again seven colors including my white I have a metallic brush metallic sapphire I have Prussian blue by Arteza I have permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. This is Decor Art Extreme Sheen Sky Blue Topaz, I think it is. Let me just double check. Yes, Sky Blue Topaz. I have 24K Gold. I have my white. And then this is a pink, a pale pink. <clears throat> so, pardon me, I have a really crazy congested throat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer up the cup and we are going to pour. I'm gonna start with my white, just a smidge in there. And then I'm gonna come in with the Prussian blue I'm going to come in with a metallic sapphire and then the purple and then I want to use this pretty pink color come in with my white and my gold this And then another layer of white. And I think that's all we're gonna do in our cup right now. Kind of cute with the pink. We're gonna see how it <clears throat> turns out. Just gonna move my paints out of the way. Now I'm gonna do this right here. A white puddle in the center. I'm gonna move that out of the way too. Move this around a bit. All right, now my paints were just mixed up, so I am gonna have to torch a bit. And then we are going to pour. I'm gonna start like this.
we're gonna end with a ring pour. It is super windy outside. <clears throat> I'm gonna be teaching this technique at the Fluid Art Boutique in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And I'm just gonna come in right here. Probably just gonna go off the canvas anyways. We're going to give this a torch. Lots of air bubbles. And I love these cells in here. With some beautiful gold coming up over here. I could see this pink which is amazing on all the tips of the uh, little squiggles. Just gonna let this percolate for a minute. Maybe you want to fix up that middle a little bit. There we go. So the Fluid Art Boutique is going to be held in Santa Fe, New Mexico on April 1st through four, uh, 3rd. So April 1, 2, and 3 at the Santa Fe Community Convention Center. Now this is my one of my signatures pours that um, if you want to come learn from me, it's my technique. You are obviously welcome to check out the link below. Um, so this is really selling up beautifully and I love these striped cells. And give it another torch. Love these cells in here. All of these cells, they are amazing. So what I'm gonna do is, if I have leftover paint to use as a flow extender, but I'm actually fresh out of leftover paint. So we will utilize the white that I've mixed up. And I put the flow extender around the puddle because I don't want the puddle composition folding over itself before I can really create, a, well, create a composition. Because if you let it fold over yourself, then you're gonna have really nothing um, well, not nothing, but there's some beautiful designs sometimes on the outside of the puddle. And you really want to hold on to that. Um, so we're going to... Spread out this flow extender and we will be right back. See you in a few.
super happy with this. So I'm gonna clean up the corners and we'll bring you in for a close up. All right, here is the close up. I am totally digging this. I love the pink in here. It's a very transparent color and I'm really excited to see how it dries. And there's little bits of pink in here. But yeah, this is like pretty awesome. I'm very happy with my pour. Um, anywho, we won't drool over it any longer. That is kind of tacky, but all right, guys, you have a wonderful day. I hope you liked this uh, video. If you did, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye.